Well, it broke a little bit. We fixed it. It's all good. Well, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Adam. I got another quick one for you today. Um, on these Kyosho re-release cars, um, the build quality on them is excellent. Now, with that said, um, there are some pre-built things in here, especially the transmission. And on my Tomahawk, I have had no issues. I've run it a few times, no issues. This one, when I got back from the first run, everything seemed fine. Um, I did notice for the last minute or so of driving, it sounded like the rear end had got a little noisier. I um, thought maybe there's some stuff bound up in there or something, you know, causing a little bit of drivetrain strain. Overall, this thing is super, super, super quiet. Um... Got back in here, recorded the end of the video, and everything was good. Then I broke out my trusty little tire cleaner toothbrush and started cleaning the tires off. So in doing that, and cleaning up the tires, you know, wiggling them back and forth, I noticed the gear cover was kind of like rocking back and forth, and that didn't make any sense to me. So I popped the um, clip off, pulled the O-ring off, popped the cover off, and you have the pinion gear, you have a counter gear, and then you have your spur gear. Now or however you want to name it. There's three gears in there. You got the pinion on the motor, there's a double counter gear that goes to the big spur, which has a slipper clutch and everything on it. On that counter gear, it just slides on. It's a metal post. The counter gear slides on, and then the gear cover is actually kind of what holds that little idler um, counter gear on and keeps it from moving back and forth. Now, it can move back and forth a little bit. It's got extra wide teeth, um, but li literally the motor cover is what holds that on. And, you know, I pull it out and I wiggle the tires back and forth and that poor little counter gear was going, ha, 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 ha. It, it, it was about ready to lose it. So once I took the counter gear off, slid it off, you know, that little metal post that it slides onto is just little, 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 little. So... You don't have to tear the whole transmission apart to get to it or anything. Basically, on the other side of the transmission, there is the motor brace, I guess. A little plastic piece, two screws, pop that off. And then all you do is take the motor screws out. Um, don't remove the motor. You can leave the pinion on and everything. And that will allow you to move the motor back just enough to stick a 2 millimeter driver from the opposite side of the transmission. There's a screw that screws that post on. I pulled that out. There was not a drip or indication that any thread lock was put on there. QC issue or what, I don't know. Um, so I cleaned it off really, really well, made sure there was no grease or anything on there still, and I added a ton of blue thread lock to it. Um, it is not coming back off. Um, I hope I don't need to get it back off because I'm probably gonna have to heat it up if I do. But, um, there's a heap and helping uh, blue thread lock on there now. Tighten it down really well, tighten, put everything back together, tighten it up, uh, ran it, and it's back to being whisper quiet again. So um, thankfully, did not run it too long at all. Um, but I'll try to put in some little head cam footage um, as I'm talking. I don't know. what it, it was really hard to get the head up in there and with the camera on the hat to see what was going on. But anyway, I'll try to get some footage as I was talking. Hopefully it's in there. But... um. You know, just goes to show, check your car over every time you run a battery through it. Um, I probably ran about 80-90% of a battery through this before I decided to come in. And if I had kept running much longer, that gear would have chewed itself up or it would have eventually just worn itself or it would have unthreaded itself enough to pitch that gear out and, you know, probably would have broken the, the housing or I would have lost the housing and the gear and the bearings and all this. Who knows? But... Thankfully, it all stayed together long enough and well enough that it didn't tear up anything and it's still running. Um, but maybe just a QC check for if you guys are putting one of these uh, Kyosho re-releases together with that pre-built transmission. Um, pull that um, post out and put some thread lock on it. Um, now, if you go to turn it and it's like lock locked, it probably has thread lock on it. Um, but obviously, somebody skipped mine. Anyway, guys, real quick one for you. Everybody out there, be happy, be healthy, be safe. Have fun. I'll see you, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.